Hey YouTube, what is going on guys? I am going to um, go over something today that a lot of people have been asking questions about. And it's uh, how can you make your own flint napping kit or your own flint napping tools? And I got my box of stuff right here. I'm gonna go over each one of it and how you could make it yourself and where you could get these supplies that you need. One of the first things is uh, these are little pads for napping glass slabs obsidian you hold it in your hand and you could flake over this little groove cut out you could use a uh, tire rubber for that and on this side I just glued a piece of leather now the leather like this you can get from uh, Michael's or a cloth store, fabric store, places store. online, places online, and I'll show that here. Safety goggles. See how scratched up those are? There's a reason those are scratched up. Make sure you get yourself safety goggles. You could get them at a Home Depot or a hardware store. It was a solid piece of copper, and I actually did get this at Home Depot. I had it cut from a bigger piece. And that's what I've been using for my percussion is a caribou antler. Now, where do you get caribou antler? So I got this from a dog chew store on Etsy and you could find it really easily. You gotta look for the end caps. This is what you're gonna be hitting with to flake things and you could easily get that on Etsy from any um, dog chew store or like a Petco if you go to Petco you might be able to find right on the end shelves these leather pads that I have are from a deer that my uncle hunted many many years ago I've been using the same ones for 15 years now so you don't need to go buy a whole bunch of leather um, you could get your leather right at Michael's, like this one, and use this at a craft store. They, they sell these fairly cheap. Now, um, these ishy sticks. These ishy sticks, um, this is like a nylon with copper, but it doesn't have to be that. You could make one out of a hardwood and insert a little piece of antler into it so go to those dog chew stores and you could buy the antler tines like this and just saw the tip off about here drill a hole into the stick and glue it in and then you got your issue stick the same thing with uh this is an antler with a piece of caribou antler glued into the tip i used this one till i couldn't use it anymore it's too dull now and it got short on the other hand, antler handle, copper tip. I just drilled a hole in there and hammered in a copper nail and then ground the nail bit into a point. It's not a point anymore because I was hammering with it, but it's a flaker. Now four hammer stones for big spalling. You're gonna wanna go down to your creek or river and pick up something that's fairly hard. You're better off with a quartzite. This is more of a sandstone, but I've been using this one for a long time to spoil my bigger rocks. It's about time I get a new one, you see that? This is a moose antler. Moose antlers are harder to come by. I, I had this one custom ordered from, uh, I think it was Alaska, I don't know. But this is uh, for bigger spoiling. I also use this for my indirect. And I put this under my knee and I hit here to take the flakes off. These boppers of different sizes. You could get these caps at Home Depot or a hardware store and really just glue them onto a stick. These ones have uh, mine in particular because I'm working some pretty tough stone has lead inside, melted lead, to make it a little bit heavier. But you don't really need that if you're working obsidian glass or glassy cherts. What is that stone you grind with? This is a Home Depot grind wheel. 
what I did was I bought a bunch of them and I just busted them up and that's what I use. And I'm actually gonna put a picture here of what it looks like in the store. I'll do the same with all the other stuff I put up. And uh, you know, a lot of this you could just get from dog chew places, stores, Etsy, eBay. And then it's minimal work to make it into the tool you need. You just grind the edge or you saw, you saw this off and you grind it a little bit and then you got your hard bone cap to nap with. That is the majority of my kit. I do have flakers like this, but again, it's just copper, nylon, and these are little custom screws that uh, were put in to tighten it. But you could easily just buy the nylon copper and glue it in and you're good to go. The smaller hammer stones, if you, don't, if you can't use a bopper, if you're looking for small hammer stones, you just look in a creek and you can find ones made from quartzite, quartz, or a harder material. If you hit it against another rock and it doesn't break, you're good to go. Everything in my napping kit, you could make yourself. You don't have to go blow a ton of money on napping supplies. I have, I do, I still do, because I like to experiment with different tools. But if you're just getting started and you wanna make your own tools, that's all you need. You don't need too much to get started, especially on glass, subsidian, and stuff like that. So anyway, that is it for me. I just thought I would make this helpful little video for you guys. If you have any questions, insight, or how do you make your tools, put it in the comments so other people can see and learn. I want everybody to be able to do this skill. That's it for me, guys. I'm gonna keep it short. And I'll see you soon. Any questions you have, I might do a follow-up video. If there's a lot of questions, you let me know in those comments. And I'll see you guys soon. You have a good one. See ya.